Rogan Josh cooked El Fresco out in the woodland in the sun. So I've got some Tesco's diced beef. I've got some rice that I cooked last night and I just brought it with me. So I'll reheat that in my, sit in my steamer. I've got some dried herbs, an onion, red pepper, and I've got this Rogan Josh sauce, which is a two part. So you cook the meat or brown the meat in the spices there, and then put it in the curry sauce. So I'm going to start by dicing up the onion and the peppers. I'm going to brown them off in my little wok here. With a bit of oil. And then we'll add the meat to it in the seasoning and get cooking. So I've just de seeded my pepper and peeled the onion. Like I say, I'm just going to dice it up. Don't have to add extras, but I do like to put a few extras in my curries. This is quite a, it says on the pot, um, it's a two out of four for heat. So it says it's a quite a hot one. I don't like my curries too hot. But we'll see. It's just nice to be outdoors. Cooking outdoors. Hopefully you can see me cooking away or chopping away. <laughs> Not cooking yet. But. So I'm just gonna brown this off in a little oil before I add the diced steak. I'm just a bit worried that my little camping wok here might not be big enough. <laughs> we'll soon find out, won't we? There's quite a big pepper I brought with me, so. Just bear with me a few minutes. I'm not like one of the chefs you see on the telly that goes super, super, super fast. If I did that, I'd cut my fingers off. <laughs> I don't know how they do it. Years and years of practice, I suppose. Get back with you in a second. Well, that's everything diced up. <coughs> and I'm just Add a tiny bit of oil to my pan. I've got a little pot of oil that I use for my eggs and everything. Mainly to stop it sticking and burning. Burning the bottom of your pan as well. So. so I'm a bit worried now because I think my little wok isn't going to be big enough. <laughs> So uh, that's the vegetables. So I'm going to cook that through first with some of the sauce. And then, like I said, we'll add the meat and combine it all. And like I said, I've got a massive amount of rice as well. So I might be having <laughs> two dinners. Anyway, let's get that gas on. to blast in a way. This is what I normally find out. I've done something silly like left my wooden spatula at home or my wooden spoon. But I did try to make sure I was well prepared this time.
Put a few herbs in there. I do love my herbs. Good thing is because my my steamer here, the steamer pop goes on the top. I need a little bit of water in there. So I can say reheat the rice, steam it through. So if need be, I could reheat this afterwards. Cook it separate from the meat. We combine it all afterwards. See how it goes, won't they? I'm sure you can hear that sizzling away already. Get back with you in a minute. Give that a few more minutes and then I'll put it to one side. I'll most probably pop it inside from in my steamer pot there. And then we'll get the, the diced beef on cooking. And there seems plenty of that in there as well. I've got them got a meal for two here. <laughs> it's a bit of a breeze today. Uh, hopefully you can hear me all right. One side. Like I say, my little, I'm gonna pop it my steamer, um, and then that will rest while I brown off the steak there. I think I better spoon that out actually. I'm gonna go wasting it, spilling it all over the floor. It's a lot of that as well, so I will definitely be cooking it in like two parts. I've never had one of these before, so luckily, it's a bin just down the road. <laughs> I did read the instructions before I left home and it said to brown your meat off for 
four to five minutes well, to seal it really more than anything else so seal it for four to five minutes with the powder in and then you add the sauce afterwards once again I'll get back with you in a few minutes Oh, it's got a tiny bit chilly all of a sudden. <laughs> so I've put me, put my jacket, my hat on. That's the trouble when you've got no hair on your head. <laughs> you do feel the tiniest bit of breeze, I suppose, because I'm up, up in the air a little bit, and not down where I was going to be. It's a tiny bit breezier up here. And you can most probably see the sun starting to go down. But this is sealing off quite nicely now. If I just show you that. It might be taking a little bit longer than what it was supposed to. Because obviously I'm cooking outdoors on a small camping stove. I've got me. <laughs> the um, onions and peppers there and I've covered the lid up to help keep it warm but yeah like I say it might be taking a little bit longer because I'm cooking on a small camping stove outdoors and with a tiny bit of a breeze I could turn it up I suppose but it seems to be doing all right and because I'm using beef it doesn't have to be like cooked completely through it doesn't matter if it's a tiny bit pink still. But I'm going to add the sauce and continue cooking it anyway, so. You know, saying that, that smells absolutely gorgeous, as it is. But I've definitely got enough here for two meals. So I think, thinking about it, what I might do is save half of it, because it's far too much for me to eat in one go. Once I've reheated the rice, um, I'm going to have my empty container there and I save half of it, then I can just reheat it tomorrow. Oh, I like this little wok, it's, it's a handy little thing. Alright, I think. smelling amazing I and mean, even looking amazing look at that it's so juicy already time to get some sauce in there Just reduce the heat down a bit because it's basically simmer to cook this. Once again, so that you don't get bored <laughs> sitting there watching me cooking everything, I'll get back to you in a little while. I'm not sure if you can see that. That is bubbling away, lovely. So what I think I'm going to do in a minute, because that's as good as cooked through. I'm going to add a tiny drop of water to my steamer pot and boil it up. Which will keep the vegetables warm in the steam. I can let this rest for a few minutes. for dinner <laughs> so I'm, as I say I'm just going to pop that to one side cover it with my plate now, pop a drop of water in my steamer
and it needs a tiny bit. That little bit of water in there. Turn the heat up. Vegetables are still warm actually, so like so I'm just gonna warm that through and then I'm gonna transfer that to another plate. Uh, pop your rice in there, heat your rice through, then out separate into two lots and it'll be good to eat. Looking forward to this, it smells absolutely gorgeous. starting to steam already so beautiful yeah that is really steaming through so that's hot too now no. just about to change over and put your rice in there take like a minute like so I cooked it last night in my steamer at home you can buy pre-cooked rice if you wish but I prefer to cook it all myself sometimes I have leftover rice when I do like an egg fried rice or anything I have used that in my steamer before few minutes in there and that'll be perfect I'm gonna mix the curry now with the peppers and the onion like I say separate it into two pop it in there because it is far too much beautiful So I've separated, and that's one lot, and that's the other lot, look. And then I'll separate the rice maybe, put some of that in the pot as well. So I've got plenty here. And I've also got nan breads, which I haven't got out my rucksack yet. But I've got two garlic and coriander nan breads too. But I don't think I'm going to open them tonight. I've got more than enough here. Yeah. Let's pop the lid on that. Oh, you can most see the steam coming through the rice already. I'll give it a few more minutes, another minute anyway. Beautiful dinner, just about ready. Yeah, that's steam through now. So that's lovely and hot. Time to dish up, I think. Ooh. It's like that, I'm only going to want half my rice, most probably.
got to do the washing up afterwards. <laughs> Otherwise I'll have foxes around me later on. There you go. Look at that. Steaming away. Cooked outdoors. Rogan Josh. Beautiful.